Well, happy Saturday to you all. Can you believe it? We are just one week away from Christmas Eve, eight days away from Christmas Day. And let me tell you, we are looking at one of the coolest Christmases we've had in quite some time. So we do have this cold front that's just going to continue to bring some cooler air across the first coast. And we do have a line of showers that are moving across the first coast here right now, anywhere from I-75 all the way to I-95 and into the beaches as well. It is lifting towards the northeast, so it's not going to last very long, but it is a cooling shower that's very cold out there. So just keep that in mind. Dress accordingly if you do plan on going out and about this evening. Let's talk about these temperatures across the area. So those rain showers are dropping the temperatures slightly here as well as that sunset here. So in Brunswick, we're at 53 degrees right now. St. Simons, you're at 58. Jacksonville, 54. And again, most areas into the 50s right now. And we are just going to continue to see this cold trend all week long here. And then another cold front comes in by the middle of this next work week and cools things down even further here. So while we reach the 60s today, enjoy that because we'll drop it another 20 degrees by this time next week. All right, so all areas shaded in blue here are going to be seeing well below average temperatures here within the next seven to nine days or so. But hey, be thankful we're not in the north. Some areas saw upwards of over a foot of snow into those northern states, so at least we're not seeing that here. Now we did see a little bit of a transition in the winds here. It's been calm overall with the wind speeds, but it did transition out of the south here. That's what helped warm us into at least most areas into the 60s for today. Still just slightly below normal, but not terrible compared to what we are going to be seeing. All right, so for tonight, those showers will clear right around 8 p.m. And then we're going to be seeing those clouds just hang around the area and these temperatures continuing to fall here. Tonight's low temperature 40 degrees where we typically should be around 47. 20% chance of showers just slight though. They'll be clearing on out as I mentioned right around 8 o'clock. All right, so we'll see the clearing skies. High pressure is going to set into the area just in time for the big game here as a uh, Zach will uh, Zach was just talking about over at TIA Bank. He's mentioning that those tickets are around $200, so it's a big game. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. here. So for those early risers, for those tailgaters, just keep in mind it is going to be a cool start to the morning there again into the 40s and the low 50s. So dress accordingly and also we'll have the sunshine, but we'll see the breezy conditions as well, making things feel all that much cooler during the game. So make sure you're bundling up if you plan on going to the game again. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. Now, if maybe you're not going to the game, but you're trying to get into the holiday spirit by hanging some last minute lights or going Christmas shopping, you are good to go. I'm recommending do it now because these temperatures, as I mentioned, just going to keep falling for us. So we see a slight rise just slightly. There we go from 56 tomorrow into the low 60s really all week long. And then as I mentioned, another cold front is going to be dipping in by about Thursday, and then we only see a high temperature of 40s and I'll show that to you in just a moment here. But as you can see on future cast, the shower shift out of the area, then just a few isolated shower chances, but all of that clears on out as high pressure does develop. And then we'll see the winds transition back in from the north, bringing some cooling air into the area. That is why we're only into the 50s for tomorrow. But turn your attention to Friday and Christmas Eve. Look at those high temperatures only into the low 40s with overnight temperatures into the 20s 